Freaking stuck. Yeah. It's like a damn swamp in here. I'm gonna try to pull forward and try to come more this way since I already tore this part up. You think there about where you got stuck? Yeah. See how high this is? Yeah, I do. Your trailer is right do you think there. your truck has a better shot? I'm sure excited to be here. You know, I grew up on a cranberry marsh, fishing on my grandparents' cranberry marsh. They had ponds and reservoirs like this, and there's no experience. When you can get into one of these small bodies of water that's protected from all the fishing pressure, all the tournaments, and work on technique, work on baits, uh, throw something that you wouldn't normally throw that you need to teach yourself. It's a great opportunity. I would encourage anyone, if you've got the chance to get on some a small pond, even if it's a local municipal pond, just get out there and throw everything in your box so that when you do need it and you're in a tournament, you're comfortable with a spinnerbait, you're comfortable with a whopper plopper, you're comfortable with top water, or what's a Demiki rig? All those things, it gives you a great opportunity to work through the various techniques and how to catch big bass. Mm-hmm, right there. Here's one. Feels pretty good, we forgot the net. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant. Please come, stay down. Oh, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, please stay down. Yes! Look at that beast. Son, kind of Mississippi, you catch a big bass.
that was a that was a giant fish that I just caught. I was coming down a bank here. I saw just a little bit of a stick up, and I put the spinnerbait past the stick up, slow rolled it through, and it just smoked it and took me to the bottom, swam away from the boat, and I just held on for dear life, hoping that I wouldn't lose that fish. It was a great fish, put up an incredible fight. There's no feeling like that. Catching double digit bass, there is just no feeling like it. This here is a War Eagle, uh, half ounce spinnerbait, something I like to throw in, in dirty water. Uh, really, really seems to come through. I've got a pretty good sized Colorado blade on there to give it a good clank. Um, I'm throwing the, uh, the Versa medium heavy uh, made by Fitzgerald. Uh, it has a good backbone, so I, I knew I didn't have any problems. Even though I knew I had a big fish, at no point was I worried about you know, too too limp of a rod, not enough backbone. And then I've got the um, Arden 6.5 to 1 Apex Grand. Um, I like this reel. It's comfortable in my hand. It's good torque. Uh, you maybe saw I did a, a quick uh, adjustment on the reel. I was actually bringing in the fish just to uh, make sure I wasn't muscling the fish because I knew I had a big one. What a great fish. What an awesome pond this is. What a great day. Spinnerbait fish in the deep south, Mississippi. Gotta love bass fishing. What a crazy day. Stuck before we ever got to the lake, out in some swamp somewhere. Stuck when we got out of the lake. Had to get a tractor to pull us out. It was uh, quite a southern adventure I had today. But I tell you, it was all worth it. That big 10 pounder I caught, uh, that was a thrill. Uh, I, I can't tell you how fun that was and what a great day it was. Uh, thanks, Mississippi. Had a great time. See you next year.